Mount a waste beaker on the titration stand and ensure the burette tip is pointing into the beaker. Disconnect the reagent bottle from the burette. In manual control, empty the cylinder unit and allow the cylinder to automatically refill. Expel any remaining reagent from the burette lines using the dosing command in manual control. Then dose the full cylinder volume. Again, allow the burette to automatically refill as this will move the piston to the bottom of the cylinder, the zero position. Remove the remaining tubing. Check that the switching lever is over to the right. Remove the exchange unit from the drive. Unscrew and remove the cylinder unit. Carefully support the base in case the O-rings are damaged, then remove the glass cylinder. Inspect the O-rings for damage and replace if required. Check whether the glass cylinder has been attacked, for example by aggressive alkalis, and also check whether solids have precipitated out. If there are any precipitates around the piston, then do not remove it as this may damage the glass. Instead, use a suitable solution to remove the precipitates. If the cylinder is scratched, then it must be replaced. Use the exchange unit hook to remove the piston, then thoroughly empty the cylinder. Remove any residual grease from the piston. Rinse the glass cylinder and tubing with deionized water. A non-abrasive liquid cleaning detergent can be used to remove stubborn contaminants, but the cylinder then must be rinsed with copious amounts of water to remove any traces. Regrease with paraffin grease. Take care to only grease the sides of the piston, ensuring no grease is applied to the head of the piston. Any excess grease should be wiped off. Reinsert the piston approximately one centimeter into the glass cylinder. Inspect for leaks and reinsert into base and cylinder housing.
attach the exchange unit to the device. In manual control, use the dosing command to move the piston rod up by approximately 6.5 centimetres until it protrudes just out of the body of the exchange unit. Hook the cylinder unit onto the piston rod, then push down gently and screw it in clockwise to secure. Reinsert the burette tubing and tighten all connections using the dedicated spanner. Remount the reagent. Prepare the exchange unit in manual control, checking that all air bubbles are expelled from the system.